Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier this morning, Ubiquity released Unified Network Application 74.156 to the release candidate. This is probably one of the biggest network application updates that I've seen so far this year, and they pack in a ton of new features. To be able to get this update on your Unify OS console, you're gonna have to go to the release candidate channel, and there could be some bugs in it still as it's not fully pushed to the general public, but they have made it available to everyone. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my webpage at mactelecomnetworks.com. We do have a Discord server and I have affiliate links down in the description below. In this video, we're gonna go over the changes in the network controller, but we're not gonna go super in depth as they will need their own videos. Right off the bat, Ubiquity's done a way better job with the release notes in separating things and giving you descriptions. So we have the open VPN server, we have the port profile and port managers, then we have our improvements. Then it goes a little more in depth about the port manager, client and devices, notifications, WAN, wireless, hotspot and guest, and then VPN. As you can tell, this is a major release. If we scroll down below, we have all of our bug fixes as well. So let's get into the network controller and take a look at some of the changes. So right on the dashboard, it doesn't look to me that anything has changed. I do like this internet health. We can see that there's a little red mark there. That's because I disconnected my WAN too. But if we go into our settings, the first thing we'll look at is our VPN. So if we click on teleport and VPN and then go to VPN server and create new, we now have the option for open VPN, which is awesome. We have a lot of different VPN options for remote workers. Next, we'll take a look at the hotspot portal or the old captive portal. Ubiquity has totally redesigned this. So to be able to see it, you won't see it in your settings. We need to go over to our Wi-Fi network, click on manual, and then go to hotspot portal. Once we press apply, we will see it on the left-hand side. Now on the left-hand side, we see this hotspot manager. Let me click on it and show you the changes. Once we click on it, it brings us to our guest page and we have no guests that are currently connected to it. And you could do a couple different filters up in the right-hand corner. Now we could look at the landing page. Under the landing page, I already put my own logo and we could see that it's changed quite a bit from the original. We have our branding up top and you could change this to whatever you'd like. We have the authentication and then we have our settings. I'm gonna do a full separate video just on this captive portal hotspot manager. Now let's look at the changes in the port manager. So I'm gonna to go to my unified devices and then I'll click on my USW Enterprise 24. We'll go to ports and then we'll go to port manager. Now, if I click on my uplink to my USW Pro aggregation switch, we could see under here that we have the name, then we have port. So this is new. We could do active, disabled, or restrict by Mac ID. It's currently sitting on my default network, and then we have this traffic restriction. So if we click on the traffic restriction, we're either able to allow or to block different virtual networks. So rather than create port profiles, we could do the traffic restriction on a per port basis. Next up is virtual network override. So say we had an IoT device that was currently sitting on our default network and we didn't wanna to go to the IoT device and switch which Wi-Fi network it's on. Well, we can now do that from the GUI interface. So if we click on my client devices, we can see this NVIDIA Corporation device. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. Then we're gonna go over to settings. Under the settings, we now have virtual network override. It is sitting on my IoT network, but say I want it to be on my 74.156, we could do that and then apply changes. Once it's done provisioning, we'll see that it's grabbed a different IP. One caveat to this though, every time you do that, it does reprovision all your devices. So your Wi-Fi will go down. Okay, so this NVIDIA has changed and we could see that it's on 10.100.10.151. So the network override did work, which is awesome. Now let's take a look at the threat map and this may look familiar to you. So Ubiquity used to have this, but they took it out and now they've re-added it. So if we go over to the security insights and then we click on traffic map, this is giving us a map of the world and it's really awesome. So what we could do from here, say we want to block out Mexico, we could click on it and then we could block that country instead of going into the settings and then manually typing them all together. I find that this is a lot easier to use. And the last thing we'll look at is the Wi-Fi connectivity section. So if we go over to Wi-Fi insights and then we click on connectivity, we could see this whole new map. So we could see all clients, we could see the access points, my Mac Telecom SE, the internet and the server. So this just kind of gives us a bit of an overview of what we're working with 
and I do really like the graph. So let me know down below what you think of this new network application update and watch out for future videos about OpenVPN and the Captive Portal. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.